Hello, here's a new Blender video about the Quad Remesher add-on, in which I show you how to turn an Angon mesh into a Quad mesh. I start with the default cube and my JMesh add-on that I use for some Boolean difference operations. I cut some circular shapes into this mesh. I snap the view to top autographic and then I press Ctrl, Shift and P to open the primitive mode of JMesh tools. The start position is set to mesh then I use Edge Selection, select this edge and press Ctrl, left click to add a circle primitive at the center of the edge. Then I activate the primitive array, increase the distance and Ctrl, left click the green arrow to center it. Ok, now press E to extrude the circles and then Ctrl, left click to cut into the mesh. Ok, now I symmetrize the mesh so that we have the cuts on the other side as well. And this is the mesh that I was going for, but yeah, it is based on Ngons because we created it using Booleans. For the shading it's alright, you see there are no shading artifacts. I can also go ahead and add a bevel modifier like that. And you see, looks pretty good. So far so good, but now let's suppose that you want to add a different modifier, for example a subsurf modifier or you want to bend the mesh using a simple deform. That is not possible with this geometry with the Ngons. For example let me go ahead and add a simple deform modifier. I set it to bend for the x-axis and then let's have a look at the shading and you can see this is looking horrible. For this kind of deformation we need a quad based geometry and this is what we can create using the quad remesher. Ok, so I remove the modifiers here from the modifier stack, the bevel, the weighted normals and also the simple deform. And then I select the quad remesher panel. Here we can define the quad count, which the algorithm tries to create for the mesh. And we can also control how the remesher adapts the quad size to the curvature of the mesh. If we use a higher setting, we will get smaller quads at the curved areas. For hard surface meshes, detect hard edges by angle is very important. After remeshing, a new mesh is created and I hide the input mesh. And we have a symmetrical mesh, so I enable symmetry for the x-axis. Alright, and now I remesh. That was fast and here in edit mode you can see the new geometry. All quads and the hard edges detected and marked as sharp. Here it is in the outliner, the new retopo mesh. Ok, again I use jmesh to add a bevel modifier and the weighted normals. Still the edges look nice and crisp. But now for the deformation, I add a simple deform modifier as before. Then I set it to bend and decrease the angle. And when we have a look at the shading now, you can see it is very clean. No strange artifacts, very nice. I rotate the object and move it a bit upwards. And then I go ahead and add another simple deform modifier, because I also want to bend it for the z-axis. And look at this, again very nice shading, because of the quad based geometry. Ok, this is hard surface modeling, but how about using this mesh for sculpting? So first I apply all the modifiers. And then I switch to sculpt mode. Here we go, then I enable the symmetry for the x-axis and use a brush like the elastic deform and a larger brush size to deform the mesh like that. I do this carefully, but you see the shading is still very good.
You could also come with the pose brush and carefully pose the mesh. So this is all possible when you have a clean quad based mesh for hard surface meshes and also for organic meshes. You find the quad remesher here on this page, the link is added to the description below. Just download the add-on and then follow the instructions. Compared to the benefits that you get it is quite affordable in my opinion and there's also an indie non-commercial license. I can highly recommend it and I really use it a lot. So guys, I hope you liked this short introduction and demo to Quad Remesher. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Support me by becoming my patron or join as a channel member, this would be great. And I'll see you guys on JNM.